So welcome to this Venice collaboration. This is a collaboration with a number of other YouTubers and this month we're looking at our three worst mistakes on a motorhome or caravan trip. And it was difficult to uh, pick three because we've made so, so many. many. <laughs> yes. Uh, but these, these three probably are typical of the sort of mistakes you can make when you're going on a motorhome or caravan trip. At the end of the video there'll be a card and it'll be about, about here, yeah. uh, over Jenny's nose. And uh, you can watch the other videos in the playlist because it'd be interesting to see what their other three mistakes are. Yeah. So what were our three Your mistakes? mistakes. Then? Right. So. We'll play the video. Roll the credits. Right. You might recognise this, and we've featured this in a number of outtakes. We didn't check the route. Yes, we were going from Luxembourg to Rudersholm on Rhine, weren't we, in yeah. Germany? Yeah. And the first thing that happened to us was the road we were supposed to go up was closed so that threw us completely <laughs> i think we were also having problems with the sat nav as well yeah yes yeah, she lost her signal yeah so we had a good tour of luxembourg we did yes <laughs> it's a nice place wasn't it then we hit this and we spent a bit of time looking at uh, rear brake lights that's right we spent ages there weren't we yeah. because we couldn't get off we were in a tunnel and yeah. uh yeah 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 so by then we're getting tired. I had a really good tour of the uh, Luxembourg yeah, German us, border. it took us all the way up the top, didn't it? And all the way down. Yeah. Back the route we started going on in the first place. Yes. Now we're out, actually at Rudersheim on Rhine. I'm thinking we'll just arrive at the campsite any minute and now. We put our feet up. Yeah, yeah, because we were really tired, weren't we? It was a long journey. Yeah. Oh, here's the road to the campsite. Yeah, so just go around this bend and I'm sure it's going to be there. And then suddenly, Mrs. Satnag says... After 450 metres, take the ferry. The what? Hey? Eh? <laughs> There's a map of what we should have looked at. And it was a... Could have seen it was a ferry. Yeah, and a rather large river as well. Yeah, the Rhine, the in Rhine. fact, yeah. Mm. We'd arrived on the wrong the side of the river. Books, isn't it? Yeah. No idea we had to go on a ferry. Yeah, but if we looked uh, to the map, we'd have known. Not that we'd yeah. yeah. Or we'd have probably gone a different way. <laughs> yeah. Just when it said ferry, what? I think it's brought us in in the way. Obviously, that we're the, on the other side of the river, so we'll have a little ferry trip. <laughs> Unexpected ferry. Yeah. Soon, this is our ferry coming in here. The next one is, we didn't check the weather forecast. Yeah. We'd arrived at Coed Hluin and we thought we'll put the awning up. And we filmed putting the awning up because we wanted to film putting the driveway awning up. Yeah. So there is, driveway awnings put up. Yes, right. And it was <laughs> well, the next day the after 18 awesome. hours of rain. I'm a little bit fed up at the moment. It absolutely tipped down yesterday. It was really heavy, wasn't it, all night? Hours. Yeah. Heavy rain. Of course, what's happening is that it's coming through the fabric now, just dripping on your head. I wasn't sure at the time whether it was condensation or whether the yeah, fabric was actually bad. leaking. I did weatherproof it uh, later, the, summer, later that summer. Yeah. yeah. There's another drip there. Yeah. yeah. And it was pooling on top of the... Uh, but it had come from underneath as well, hadn't it? It's it, not just so coming down, it, it was... Yeah. It well, flooded the floor as well. Yeah. And it was really, really heavy rain. rain yeah. Much. I'd have never have put it up if I'd known what it was going to do. If we'd have properly so checked the weather forecast, so we'd had an accurate oh, one. So I spent most of the morning with uh, microfiber towels trying to dry the floor. Yeah. yeah. The time, as did other people, of course. Yeah, yeah. But we could have spared ourselves all this if we just what, read the weather forecast. The trouble is, we're in a, yeah. a shady spot. The trees there. The weather was glorious that morning. Yeah, the it, and, and they, we stayed another there. three days and we had really um, yeah. nice weather, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Obviously left the awning sort of up, but it was... Yeah. See how wet, how wet it was. I mean, it supplies as well, not just to rain, but to yeah. wind as well. And yeah. You, you know, if it's going to if it's going to be a storm, you know, and yeah. you've got the opportunity not to put it up. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a familiar sight. This is arriving at Lower Wensleydale, where we arrived too early. Yes, because we, we it took us by surprise where the entrance was, and the satnag had been saying it was three miles away. So we're really surprised. But once we started down this road. 
Of course, we couldn't turn round. Take the next left. And it's a narrow road to the site, isn't it? Yeah, we, yeah. we think the sat nav was looking for the old entrance. Again, I blame the old sat nav for this, but really, we should have yeah. checked. We, we should have checked exactly. Yeah. Well, we should have checked the time and waited up the top like there were some people in a caravan yeah. were waiting and if you up no there. Yeah, if you notice, we drove yeah. past someone in a caravan who was actually thought, waiting. They waiting and they probably thought, what's that motor yeah. I'm doing with that car on the bank going, going down, down there? there. <laughs> <laughs> Four minutes to five is bound to be something coming Someone coming, coming out of the way. way. Yeah, so we thought we were okay because we got as far as the uh, site entrance. And there were passing places yeah. as well. So we thought if we see someone now, we, we could, could probably pull in. And and yeah. It's like over there, you could just pull over there. Yeah, but of course we didn't see anyone, did no, we? No, and there was another around the corner here. And yeah. So we thought, oh, we've, we've, we've made it, we're all right. Yeah, yeah. And then this happened, it's 11.54 a.m. I thought, oh, yeah, there's the, there, we're fine. Yeah, we're, we're fine, good, yeah, it's not a problem. We'll just wait, you know, until they're ready to open and then... He arrived. I yeah. assume it's a he, I don't know if it's a he or a she. They arrived. Yeah, yeah, so it's just before 12 they're leaving, which, you know, which the leaving time is 12. So. Yeah, so we we'll let, let them off. We've yeah. arrived too early. Yeah. Yeah, so we, you would normally go round where they are. Yeah. But, but it, because we couldn't, because no. they were there. But it takes five, ten minutes to get to get out, up that lane, so really, yeah. you know, it yeah. should be leaving about half past at the very latest. Yeah, so... Anyway, that's so that, that's, uh, <laughs> that's final a salutary <laughs> lesson. Don't to, arrive uh, too early. Don't arrive too early and uh, check, check your route. route. And check the weather. Check the yeah. weather, yeah. So I will be interested to see what the other uh, three worst mistakes of people... Everybody else has got, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so have a look at that. And uh, thanks for watching. Okay, yeah. And if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up and uh, you know what to do. Huh? All yeah, right, that's okay. it. <laughs> We'll see, right, you soon, see you soon then. Yeah, bye then. Bye then.